you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what men should do on a first date. What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I am talking about six best topics that you should talk to an attractive girl about. On TikTok this morning, honey, it seemed like every other video is a man saying he tired of y'all bitches, he getting his passport ready, and he going to another country so he can get his him a woman. I done told y'all bitches. So men are saying they're getting their passport because there aren't enough fit, feminine and friendly women to choose from. And instead of looking in the mirror and asking ourselves if we would make great wives to these men, we would much rather shame them and guilt them into staying with our mediocre asses. Ma'am, if you're not fit, feminine or friendly, then you're not what these men want. Shut your ass and go to the gym. Like, do we see how toxic we are? What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And I want to talk about why there's so many women in male spaces. And I want to talk about these fake passport bro women. Because at a certain point, y'all got to be able to see through the cap. First of all, let's start with this. Why are so many women in male spaces? Well, it's simple. Because they have nothing for the females. I repeat, they have nothing for the females. First of all, women don't need dating coaches, all right? When women come online for relationship advice, it's for two things, okay? One, they wanna know how to keep a man, aka get married, because that's what they struggle with, or two, they wanna know how to monetize themselves. And by monetize themselves, I mean they wanna know where and how to get a high value man, they wanna know where and how to get a sugar baby, or they wanna know, get a sugar daddy, I'm sorry, or they wanna know where and how to monetize themselves to just make money off of their looks. That's it. Those are two things women go online looking for relationship advice for. Women don't need help dating. Let me tell you guys something. I don't give a damn how fat you think a woman is, how ugly you think she is, her breath stink, her box stink. She walked by you, you about to pass out like, damn, that cat stink. Somebody is hitting it. Someone is paying for it. Someone is courting her. Someone is taking her on dates. Guys, meth heads, crack heads, fiends get paid for their body. Fiends offer their body to dealers for free drugs. Fiends offer their body to men and the men pay them and that's how they get their drugs. So if a meth head, if a crackhead can monetize her goddamn self as far as at least getting 40 damn dollars to get herself a hit or as far as at least getting some free hits, what makes you think women need help dating? Women don't need help dating. <laughs> they don't. Again, women need help getting married, aka keeping a man or finding a sugar baby or finding a sugar daddy, okay, or finding a high value man or learning how to monetize themselves, AKA sell themselves online and make a bunch of money that way. That's what they need help with. Therefore, any woman trying to give dating advice to another woman and she hasn't done even one of those things or she doesn't know how to do any of those things or she can't teach them how to do any of those things is automatically useless to women. So you gotta understand that first. That woman's automatically useless to women because she can't help them with what they actually wanna accomplish. See, if you're a woman and you try to give dating advice, okay, and you're not married, the first thing women gonna say is, what do you know? You're not married. If you don't believe me, peep this. So yesterday, when I said that the men were going to other countries to find women because they were sick of y'all shit, honey, in my comments, the women were like, bye, bye, motherfucker, bye. That was the first thing she said. You're not married. What you know? How you gonna tell me something? You can't tell me something. If you knew so much, why you ain't married? And that's when they decide to come to the men. <laughs> because y'all are goofy as hell. Now y'all sit there and let a woman who appears to be beautiful and the definition of fit, friendly, cooperative, and submissive, for some reason her ass is single, but that's neither here nor there. And y'all let them come online and tell y'all confirmation bias aka things they heard men saying that they know y'all want to hear oh these western women are terrible they're not fit and they're not friendly and they only look at 80 percent of men and it's awful oh my god i feel for you guys this is terrible whole time she's everything y'all talking about <laughs> whole time because these women they would never talk to you 
They would never talk to you. They bring y'all on their little dating shows. They kick y'all ass off. They be snickering about y'all with the girls. They would never talk to you. They would never date you. And apparently they can't keep a man they got themselves. But what they can do is come out here, give you confirmation bias, show you a little TNA, aka titties and ass, or a little bit of leg, turn you on a little bit, get you your little dopamine hit, take your money and dip. Now, usually I would let them do that. I would let them do that. But when I seen women start to move into the passport bro territory, that's when I had to say something. <laughs> because one, is funny, and two, you guys are really doofy. You guys are really doofy. What sense would it make for a woman to tell men that they need to go overseas to find good women when these women are Western women in America and they're single? I repeat, what benefit does it give a single woman to tell men the only way to find fine, fit, cooperative, submissive women is to leave the country and go overseas? Where your man at? Where you gonna get a man from? You just told them all to leave. <laughs> okay, now this says several things. One, and I told y'all before, women are suicide bombers, right? So she don't mind making herself and all the women of her out look like idiots by saying, oh yeah, the women overseas are way better than us. That's number one. Okay, and this is why when guys say, oh, the women don't like these women on these platforms because they're holding them accountable. No, the women don't like these women on these platforms because they're suicide bombing. If you tell a lot of men to go overseas to get a woman, who the hell gonna date you? You already single. <laughs> Who's gonna date you? They all overseas. You're not overseas. Then you got, this is like the black women who go SYSMB. I can see why black men don't want to date black women. You're a black woman. Who's going to date you? Who's going to date you? So if a man didn't decide to become a passport, bro, he still ain't going to date your dumb ass because you're talking about how he said SYSMB. That's why the women don't like you. Let me tell you something. Derek Jackson was another one of those panderers. Derek Jackson was a pander bear. But let me tell you something about Derek Jackson. He didn't suicide bomb his goddamn self. Derek Jackson didn't say black women shouldn't date black men or that women shouldn't date American men. Derek Jackson just reconfirmed to women that they're good enough. All he said is you don't got to lose no more weight. Just find someone who love your weight. You don't have to know how to cook and clean. Just find someone who compliments you. All he did was tell women what they wanted to hear. Now, this was smart because one, he still got that pander money, but two, he's also able to go out here and smash chicks behind his wife's back because he didn't tell them to go over overseas y'all telling the men to go overseas because y'all ain't crap and y'all right here saying it and then you idiots are believing them and giving them money to tell you that they ain't no good you're paying a woman to tell you she's not no good you guys are dumb I, and I remember when the girls used to come right like way back when i was right college age they used to show me the little Derek jackson videos or a little bit after college they'd be like you should be like i remember one of my home girls did it one time she's like you should listen to this Derek jackson video and i was like Derek jackson's cap and he doesn't believe any of that stuff he's saying he's like yes he does you just don't like it because he's holding you guys accountable and da 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 and then lo and behold Derek jackson got caught cheating on his wife with the same women he pandering to, aka proving my point that he don't believe what he rap about. He don't believe what he rap about. But he left himself the window to be able to do that. These women so damn goofy, they telling y'all to leave the whole damn country. <laughs> Who's gonna leave? Where's the men for them? But let me go even further into it. Two, they know that the dudes they're telling to do this are losers. Uh-oh. I know y'all about to get mad now. Hey, I'm not a loser. I'm just telling you the truth. Again, let's think about this logically. If these women didn't think that y'all were losers, if these women were thought that y'all were even on their radar, or they were even that y'all were even the type of men that they would date, why would they tell y'all to go overseas? Clearly, they don't care. So that means they either just like the Western women they complain about, which means they're fine being strong, independent, and by themselves. Or they think you guys are low-value losers, so they don't give a damn about selling you the dream of going overseas because they never was checking for your ass in the first goddamn place. Which will go back to my original point of if these women were so fit, fine, cooperative, and submissive, where's their man at? And how come they ain't talking to none of y'all? How come they don't date one of y'all? How come they bring y'all on the shows and pick on y'all and laugh at y'all? And see, I've been leaving the women alone, and I'm still leaving them alone to an extent, but I had to speak on it because the passport part of it is so damn dumb. Like I said, it's literally suicide bombing. It's suicide bombing yourself. It's stupid. And you guys are falling for it. Now, I know it's going to be some dude who's going to try to come in the comments and say, well, Alex, you give dating advice and you're not married. Well, first of all, this channel is called Reset Relationships, not Reset Marriage. When I get married, it'll be changed to Reset Marriage. That's already in the works, okay? Second of all, men 
men's reasons they come online for dating advice is not the same as women's reasons that they come online for dating advice. Men come online for dating advice to one year. They want to be able to pick a good wife and get married. But a lot of men don't even want to be married. A lot of men just want to come out here and know how to date effectively, right? A lot of men want to come out here and know how to build rotations. A lot of men want to come out here and just know how to talk to women and get to the point. A lot of men want to come out here and know how to smash. Men have a variety of reasons why they come online, okay? And marriage ain't the biggest one, believe it or not. It's not. A lot of men don't even want to be married. A lot of them don't. So you don't have to talk about marriage to talk about dating and relationships to men. To women you do because, again, women don't have a damn problem dating. They don't need help dating. They need help keeping the dude around. <laughs> or monetizing themselves, or monetizing the situation. They don't need help dating. Again, even a fiend can get laid. <laughs> so, but this is what's funny. Again, this is what's funny. <laughs> y'all letting women tell y'all, American women, Western women, <laughs> all right? If you're a black man, you letting black American Western women tell you, you need to stop dating black women, which means stop dating them, and stop dating their friends. Okay, unless they're going to say that their friends are the exception, which will make their entire point of hypocrisy, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> and tell y'all to go overseas. They ain't never dated no overseas. Well, they ain't never dated no woman, period, because they're not lesbians. But they damn sure ain't never dated no overseas woman. They ain't never been in a relationship with an overseas woman. They ain't never tried to talk to or bag an overseas woman. They literally have absolutely no idea what the hell they're talking about. And y'all eating it up. Y'all sending super chats. Y'all subscribing. Yeah, she even know. See, the women even know. Yo dudes are doofy, man. If At this point, if you can't see the passport bro, bro, passport bro talk, it's just a wave and that is cap. And people just capitalizing off of this because it's trendy right now. They want the subscribers and they want the monies. Then you got to be at least mildly retarded. I'm not even trying to be funny. At this point, you have to be at least mildly retarded. Once the women jump in on something, you already know that it's fake. Again, what logical sense would it make for these women to tell you to go overseas and they're single? Who are they going to date? You guys got to use your common sense. This is clearly cap. That means this clearly doesn't work. They know most of y'all ain't going to do this or y'all ain't going to be able to do this. And they know the ones who do do it, they don't care because they don't want y'all anyway. They already view you as low value. So they're selling you a placebo and they know it's a placebo. <laughs> And they're insulting you at the same time by saying, well, we don't really care if you go. Yeah, you go ahead. You go overseas. Send me some money for telling you that you go overseas. They ain't checking for y'all. They're basically saying they're not checking for y'all because they don't care that y'all leave. <laughs> you dudes are slow, man. Listen, let me tell you guys something. This is why they call it pills. Y'all know why they call it pills? First of all, there's no such thing as a red pill woman. I, I want to end on that note. There's no such thing. No such thing as a red pill woman. Now, a woman could be red pill. She can even be red pill about men. But being red pill about women, there's no such thing as a woman who's red pill about women. It's counterproductive and it serves them no purpose. All these women are doing is taking male talking points, all the things they hear the guys say, reversing it, flipping it, spinning it, and sending it back to you. You guys are like drug addicts, right? And all the red pill and the passport bro and the purple pill and all that other extra crap, it's like basically the drug dealers. The women are dealing y'all the addicts. They're giving y'all the pills. They're giving y'all the passport bro talk. They're giving y'all all that extra talk. They just dealing out the pills. <laughs> they don't even believe the stuff they saying. It's like future. He be rapping about protein, promethazine, and codeine being in his system, and he don't do drugs. That's these women. I don't really believe this red pill cap, but here you go. Send me a super chat. Here you go. If you send me a super chat, I'll give you that pill. That's what it is. You send me a super chat, I'll tell you what you want to hear. American women are trash. It's not your fault. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> And like I said, man, listen, I, I just had to comment on it because it was funny to me. I'm like, all right, now the women jumping on this and y'all still don't see that it's BS. Y'all really still don't see that it's BS. Y'all so far caught up into this crap that y'all going to let the women, American Western women, tell you you need to go overseas and get a passport. I can understand why men are going overseas. Oh, oh. y'all can't spot a panda bear. Oh, man, that's hilarious, man. It's a, I gotta give the women credit, okay? Because at least they wouldn't let me, they wouldn't let men go that far, man. I mean, this would be like me trying to be a divester. Black women wouldn't let me be a divester, man. They would be like, "Why are you? You're a black man. How are you gonna be a divester? Why would a black man tell me to go and date white men? They would see the panda bear in me. I wouldn't be able to make money. Now I could make money pulling a Derek Jackson and just being like, "Hey, man, you're not too fat. You're not too attitudey, or whatever the case may be." But telling them to divest, it wouldn't work. They're not that stupid. They be like, hey man, this is seeming like some BS. Why is this man telling me to divest? 
But y'all dudes, man, y'all just always seems legit to me. <laughs> y'all crack me up, man. But hey, listen, do what you want to do. But that's the breakdown. That's the reason there's so many women in male spaces. I am Alex and I am out. Peace.